Hey, what's happening? We are checking out a new beer today. This is White Birch's uh, Camp Travis. It's part of their apprentice series that they do. Um, I guess it's like a, over a six month period or so. They have sort of an intern brewer come in, try out a bunch of their uh, the recipes, things they want to do. And uh, this is sort of the end project for them, I believe. There's a little uh, write up on the side here. It says, uh, See, the White Birch Brewing Apprentice Series is the culmination of months of hard work and fun. Memories of barbecues, fishing, and hanging out with friends and family. That's what camp is all about. With the release by Benjamin Martin, our fourth brewer apprentice, we think we have the ultimate fireside camp beer, an American barley wine ale that is full-bodied, smooth, and hopped only with Sriracha Ace hops. As Ben moves on, we raise a toast and hope that you enjoy this beer as much as we do. I hope I do. Um, and it's interesting that it's uh, it's hopped only with Sriracha Ace, which is, um, if you're not familiar, it's a relatively new hop that um, came out of Japan uh, several years ago, and it's uh, it's sort of one of those hybrid type hops where um, it has a, a real citrusy sort of um, lemon profile to it, and. Uh, it's also interesting that they do it for a barley wine. Um, most single hop beers, at least that I'm familiar with, um, are like a single hop IPA. Like the uh, Sam Adams does a uh, the Latitude 48 deconstructed pack, which has the <clears throat> um, the Latitude 48, which is made of five hops, and they have uh, each of uh, the five hops single brewed just an IPA just with those single hops. Um, in each of them, so you can taste um, exactly what that hop tastes like. But other, otherwise, um, normally you're, you can use a couple varieties at least um, when you're making an IPA or any other sort of beer for that matter. So, one of the other great things I really like about what White Birch does, I don't know if you can see that, but on the label, they give you all the information that you need right there. So, for this one, it tells you, you know, it's bottled on May of 2011. It's from batch one. This bottle count on uh, this particular series was uh, 1140. It is 9.2% alcohol by volume. And it's all right there in front. So let's uh, get it open and see what we have. Just for the record, uh, barley wine is probably my absolute favorite style of beer. All right, so we didn't get much in the way of head there in that pour. Granted, it wasn't overly aggressive, but it's a uh, it's definitely a real like a kind of like a dark iced tea color. And it's, you can't, it's cloudy, you can't see through it anywhere if I'm holding it up to light. Can't see anything. But, I mean, there's definitely, when you uh, move it around, there's alcohol sticking to the glass in here. That's definitely a real interesting, real interesting uh, aroma. reminding me of, and I don't think it should, but I mean, there's a little bit almost like pine, like you're out, you know, just standing sort of in the forest a little bit, just, and you have the smell of pine trees around you, and that is mixed, you can smell um, that lemon citrusy kind of note that uh, the Sriracha Ace hops add in there. And that does seem to be balanced by, there's a, uh, there's definitely, uh, you know, caramel malt backing that in a huge way that is uh, relatively sweet. There. Let's see what we got. Generate any sort of head here. Give it a little bit. Swirl. Barely anything. There's just like a dusting on the top. But let's uh, see how this tastes. I 
that's real nice. It starts out, you know, there's that sort of caramel malt, but it's it's balanced out, I think, pretty nicely with the with the hops. You know, it sort of has that that piney, lemony sort of citrus profile again, sort of like the nose did. And they just sort of, you know, ride you into the sunset there to the uh, the end of the taste. One thing I'm kind of noticing is there doesn't seem to be maybe as much carbonation as I'd, um, I'd like for this style. So it sort of has a real thick mouth feel on it, coats the tongue, and just sort of seem, you know, it seems relatively heavy. But again, it's a barley wine. You're not, it's uh, not one of your lighter ales. So that's perfectly okay with me for this style. And Probably also to note, um, I'm not really detecting any sort of overwhelming um, alcohol notes either um, in the nose or in the taste. So I think it has it going for that in that aspect. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another bottle of this and I'm gonna put it in the cellar and see how that develops. Cause with most barley wines, you're probably gonna want, want to try some fresh, but Personally, I like to put it in the cellar, pull it out after several years. A lot more of um, the caramel and malt flavors um, <clears throat> tend to develop and sort of meld together um, into more of like a toffee caramel complexity. Um, I've noticed that mostly, um, I've done a vertical of uh, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot. And that has a, uh, you can notice with each one sort of more of that toffee caramel flavor developing while the hops sort of fade off and allow um, the malts to come forward. But you know what, overall it's, I think it's a, it's a pretty good effort they put out as part of um, the Apprentice series and uh, I look forward to trying more from uh, White Birch and their apprentices. Cheers.